Hey YouTube, what's going on? How are you guys doing today? You guys doing it? Everybody doing all right? A lot of people, no comments. Hey, what's up? Yeah, bored to death. Everybody's bored to death. You know, we're not. We're doing okay down here in Cincinnati, but it needs to be. We need to get the fucking work. Is what needs to happen, and I think that's supposed to happen. Let's see. Well, today's the 22nd. Everybody said April 6th, which I think they need to move it up a week. You caught herpes when everybody is quarantined? Yeah. Social distancing, fellas. You know, that's why I'm here at the shop by myself. Okay, I'm practicing social distance, or distancing. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, th they haven't shut me down yet, but I have a feeling it's coming. I'm not too confident in the world. You know? I haven't figured out if uh, we're going to be able to extend our bills or what's happening here, but... I really, I really don't know, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going on, you know, yeah, I saw that everyday fleet tech got sick, you know, well, I mean, it's going to happen. Two plants are open in the city, two. The one that stays open all year and then one in Dayton. <clears throat> the San Jose is just sending... I know the, our governor was sending people around. Uh, They're sending police around to make sure that nobody's selling anything, you know, or that you can't go in there, you know. I think you can be open, but you, just, you can have drive-through stuff. Well, like, listen, if the government gives me 1200 bucks, fellas, that's going to last about 0.8 of a second. Okay? 0.8 of a second. Once it hits my checking account, okay, it's over. All right? Like, this winter's been bad. Um, we are... We are $207,000 away from what we made last year at this particular date. So we're starting out the whole, we're starting out 204 grand or 205 grand in the hole just because we got no snow and the workload here has been fuck, you know, uh, it's been pretty bad. You know, time to cut China off. I don't know if we can do that. Because guess who we're going to sell this fucking... Guess who we're going to sell fucking bonds to... To fucking... Uh, give away all this money. Yeah, you guessed it. China. No, I mean, I didn't expand my business too fast. I mean, you can't worry about fear and all that stuff. You know, it comes in cycles, okay? Like, uh, you know, what I'm saying is, is like once this is over, it'll be just fine. Everything will go back to normal. Now it's going to take a while, you know, to do that. 
you know, it's just a slower start this year. If I don't work, will I be okay financially? Uh, for about maybe three more weeks, and then, yeah, shit's going to hit the fan. Yeah, that is true. At least I'll have three more trucks to catch up with. And the only, the only good thing about that is uh, I'm going to be at a low interest rate on these things. So uh, that's going to be a positive. Shut up with your web church. What's up, Dave? <laughs> that is true. Hopefully fuel prices stay down for the year. If that stays down for the year, and we can get caught back up. Here's something about, here's something that I've learned. Having, having, well, having 10 trucks, um, you can, you can make up uh, a pretty significant, significant amount of deficit in a short period of time, um, just because of how everything goes, you know? You must live in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania shut down. I'm, I'm hoping that we're not. I have a letter. I have both letters from the DOT that was sent to the company I work for that said all projects are a go. And I have a little bit of work next week, but it's not till Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's supposed to rain every day. So this shit's going to be all fucked up. <clears throat> Here's what I don't understand. Like, I was riding around. My wife pointed this out. She goes, Justin. She goes, God damn, the fucking... Uh, she goes, the gas prices are $1.79, okay? And diesel is... Still 250. How in the hell does that work? You know? Wow, you may be out of work. I heard that California, you're not, are you guys on lockdown? Gas is $1.79 here. I'm not going to be there. What's up, Chris? Yeah, gas has dropped off here, man. It's fucking low. California's fucked. A dollar fifteen for fuel. Yeah, but what's diesel? It's still two something. <laughs> you know. See, a dollar fifty five. That's cheap, but diesel's still high. It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> <laughs> Another three weeks, yeah, and we'll be completely, uh, we'll be completely shut down, I'm sure. I just don't understand why we're freaking out, you know? It just, uh, it's only supposed to kill old people or people with underlying conditions. Uh, the service truck is, like I said, it is lost in the coronavirus, don't know where it is. Don't have a clue. I, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I called to find out and to see if it's even been made, but with the, uh, the, uh, shit, what do you call that? Uh, the goddamn Ford being shut down, I know that they're not making anything. The New York governor said four to nine minute, four to nine months on the shutdown.
Wow. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't want to go out of business. Yeah, that's what I heard, that Ford and GM are going to make respirator parts. I saw an interesting... Uh, um, Morgan, I can't get a small business loan from Uncle Sam. Can't do it. So that savior is out. Uh, they're not going to... Uh, because I have a DUI and a felony, I, I can't... Uh, I can't apply for a small business loan, so pretty much uh, I'm fucked. It hasn't affected me yet, Brian. I mean, we're slow just because I think of weather and some other shit, and people aren't really, they're not really eager to get going, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's just their rules, man. I don't know what it is. Uh, my wife doesn't own the company, so she can't apply for it. Yeah. Yeah, I have a felony from when I was 18 years old. And uh, that's why it won't let me... Uh, that's why I can't apply for one. So just remember, when you make mistakes at fucking 17 and 18 years old, uh, it fucking hangs around for the rest of your life. You never know where you might go. So, you know, yeah, it is time to sell that. 8.9 interest rate? Right now? That's what they're giving you? I'd fuck that. No, the government can still see see your record. Yeah, no, I mean, can't do that. Um, I can't sell the business to my wife's name uh, because she has a job. And her job will not allow uh, her job will not allow uh, her to take on my business. She would have to quit her job. Um, it's just because of what type of company she works for. Uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah, Turk, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, we're going to take out a loan on that. I have a whole bunch of equity in the trucks that I already got. And, uh, we're trying to refinance all those to get me to a lower interest rate and, uh, to buy me 30 days. So that's what we're trying to do now. Yeah, um, I as long as I have money, I'm going to keep making my payments. Um, I don't think it's fair to hoard all my cash. Um, like I have an, I've got one from the Street Beast and stuff like that. Uh, what do I need money for, Brian? You got to pay your truck payments, bud, or they will come and get the motherfucker. You know. Like, Brian, you're about to go, you're about to dive in head first here, bud. Let me tell you, as you take on more trucks, bud, you're going to have to stay more fucking busy, okay? Like, all that shit of you playing around, building your new house, that's over, bud. That's over, okay? Because now you're going to have other shit. You got other people that work for you. There is fucking a whole bunch of shit, you know? Uh, you're about to dive into that you haven't really realized yet. You know, 
And when you have 10 people, well, I have 13 employees. When you have 13 employees, okay, and you fucking have to make sure that they all get paid and they all can make a living, that's really the biggest thing on my mind is uh, biggest thing on my mind is what do we do with them? They should be paving why everybody's home. Yeah, the hype is just crazy. Uh, GM Tech, I cannot fall back on... Uh, I cannot fall back on my YouTube money. I don't make that much. You know? You know, when you make $600 a month on YouTube, really doesn't go very far. You know? We do have some work going on, uh, but it's just not started. Everybody said they were going to start April 6th. So we're really two weeks away from that, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, YouTube is chump change. I mean, it's really not anything to write home about, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's not even really worth it. You know, like, <clears throat> for how much time and energy I put into fucking doing YouTube, I mean, every time I go do something for ARM, I do a service thing for that, I've made more money doing that, and it's taken less time, you know? <clears throat> well, I mean, I don't think that this is Trump's fault. How in the hell could this be Trump's fault? I mean, that's that's what... There, I mean, you can't blame it on somebody. Yeah, YouTube doesn't even pay for one tool haul, bud. Yeah, we are considered infrastructure. I got something that I got to print off and give to my drivers in case of an emergency. Um, one of the companies sent it to me, so I got to do that. Yeah, I don't know who I'd blame. Yeah, there's a lot of people in, uh, what is DH, DHS paperwork yet? I have not got that. Nope, none of my drivers are sick. Um, everybody seems to be fine. I have not got anything from the Department of Homeland Security. You know, like, I wish they'd let us run shit in my dump trucks. I'll fucking put some pallets on that motherfucker. You know? Fucking tarp that shit. You know? Is it better to buy trucks cash? Um, I don't think so. Uh, because then you take all of your... Then you take all of your fucking cash that you need to go through the rest of the time and you spend it on something that 
it would be hard to sell to get your money out of that. What's up, Frugal Prepper? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, when I re if I if they refinance them, it'll save me about fourteen thousand dollars a month, and it'll be on the same terms that I got now. So we're trying to get that done, but the banks are shut down, so they're not letting. You know, they like they can't meet with clients, so they have to call me all the time. It's all fucked up. Yeah, I know that, like, uh, Jason is not letting anybody on, uh, Jason is not letting anybody on his snap-on truck, and the Mac guy didn't show up Friday, so I'm assuming he's kind of in and out, uh, but, uh, you know, that's what it is. What's up, George? Yeah, I think everybody's stuck with credit cards. I put a bunch of stuff on mine. <laughs> yeah, I've already had the uh, app. Like, my bank, before all this happened, we got a uh, check scanner at our house. So it's, like, all set up so we can do everything remote. Um, so that's kind of no big deal. You know, I know that I put a bunch of stuff on my credit card trying to extend it. And then I'll have to call American Express like, hey, can I put something on that? No, I haven't started working on the 250R yet. Nope. I went out and rode it yesterday. It was pretty good fun. Yeah, I like using my credit card because I get the points. You know, I put everything on that thing just to get so I can get all my American Express points. Because then you can, like, well, when uh, you get all your, uh, when you get all the, uh, you get travel and stuff through, through 30K in credit cards. Um, I went and rode it at my buddy's house. There was only one jump that I could hit. I hit it a couple times. And then uh, he reminded me that I haven't bought my life insurance policy yet, and it probably wouldn't be a good idea to keep doing that. I went riding with my banker, him and his family. Dave Ramsey can pound salt. I don't listen to that guy. Don't give a fuck. What's up, Evans? What are my thoughts on Tesla? I fucking don't know. Brian, it costs me uh, $60,000 a month to stay open. Maybe a little bit more than that. It's about that. That's the bare minimum, 60 grand to stay open. Yeah, it's not bad with all the new trucks I got. I, you know. <clears throat> yeah, see, the, you guys, it gets more than that, like, with payroll. With payroll, it'll get up over 100 grand uh, a month. 
but you got to think with 10 trucks we usually make 225 a month that's on like a slow month so you know yeah when you that's what i'm saying when you got 50 grand the highest payroll i ever had last year was 35,000 gets expensive you know Brett, we are still running. It's off and on. It's uh, like last week we worked two days. Um, this week I know I got work for two days. It's just not Monday. There's nothing Monday. Did I find a location on my service truck? No. Hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing? I don't know how to automotive. Yeah, are you still working in the shop? Or are you are you working on a Sunday? I don't know if it got built by now or not. I don't know. They said they were running them in colors. The so mine was like a a rare color or whatever. And they were running them in colors from a guy that he bought one too. And uh, his is all fucked up with mine. But he needs his more than I need mine. So, yeah, no, I came down today to pressure wash off the four-wheeler and uh, put the folders back in the stuff and uh, put some stuff back onto my truck. And then I'm going to get ready and go home here in a little bit yeah I think they kind of run them just like that you know like whatever color it is yeah most mechanic shops are still going to be open I think they're cons I think they're considering it a whatever no I didn't want a Chevy yeah, I'm going to film working on the four-wheeler. Yep. I don't know how long you have parts. Yeah, are the parts places not open? Yeah, well, I really can't cancel it because it's real too far. Uh, it's too far uh, into the situation. So I have a feeling it'll be here at the end of May. That's kind of my guess. Yeah. Yeah, who knows, Brian? You know, like, how to, I, I don't know what the hell. You know, who this is really going to hurt is, like, people that buy a lot of shit from China. They're going to be fucked. You know? No, my dump trucks are not delayed. They are, two of them are at arm right now, and they're not shutting down uh and i don't know where the third one is they said it's in route so that could mean it's at the pdi center or something like that i really don't know uh i haven't pressed that issue uh because we're fucking you know we don't really need that type of shit
Wow, is it uh, road construction or is it something else? I think that they just over panic this shit, really. If we go on a shutdown, everybody's laying off. Uh, we're running, but not where we need to be. Yeah, there, I got a, I follow uh, the company I work for, and uh, they said that they are slowly bringing everybody back. I don't know what the fuck that means. I told them they need to get started next week, but uh, they, they just fuck around, you know. Road work. My banker hasn't said anything. Uh, my banker hasn't said anything about the situation yet. I don't know what we're going to do. We have to wait for his boss to get back, and he was on vacation. Ah, got damaged in transit. That's funny. Um, I don't know how the 2X stuff fits uh, from Teespring. I guess it's going to fit like everything else. I really don't know. Couldn't tell you. Just have to try it. That's what, that's what I said. You know, I said, now's the time to do all these paving projects because there's nobody on the road. I would work in the rain. I mean, I don't even give a shit. I'd be fucking milling that shit up faster than they can, you know, they could fuck around. I can tell you that. I don't employ any mechanics. You're looking at it. Just me. You know? You know, the only thing good is... Uh, the only thing good is this may, after like, uh, I would say probably like July, August, they're going to do uh, start talking about the infrastructure bill that Trump's been wanting to get by or get past for fucking three years now. So they may do that, you know. There is no downside of milling in the rain. You need less water. Um, the only problem is, is the guy running the mill gets wet, but, you know, get his ass a raincoat and send him out there. The roads here in Cincinnati, some of them are all right and some of them are fucked, to be honest with you. Like the road here by my shop is absolutely terrible. It probably needed to be paved five years ago and they haven't done shit. Wow, February 1st in Tennessee. Jesus. Our season usually goes from the end of March to the end of December. But, you know, we haven't done anything like that. Did we haul salt? Yeah, not very much because it didn't snow. This is like the perfect storm for dump truck companies. No snow. No snow, uh, no salt to haul, no fucking, it rained too much to start any big dirt projects. Um, so there's nothing, nothing really going on. It sucks. Oh yeah, dude, the, the Cincinnati roads are fucking terrible, man. They're fucking terrible. And they won't fix them. Yeah, it's just a run of bad luck, really. You know? Yeah, Barrett went back last week. Uh, they're doing small shit. 
They haven't called me yet. Yeah, it's just a run of bad luck, really. Really, all it's going to do is make you know that this shit can happen again, really, is what it is. Yeah, that's what the roads are like here in Cincinnati. It's like riding on a bucking bull. <laughs> the 2020 Great Depression, yeah. Nah, the salt doesn't eat up the beds. What do you mean, do more videos of me driving? I don't drive all that much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing next year. We'll be on the savings plan. There's some people that are working pretty good. Yeah, I'm an owner, not a driver. That is true. Oh, uh, they hold 25 ton. What'd you say? Yeah, I know, Carson. That's what's going to happen. I already told my drivers. I said, guys, this is going to go from... This is going to go from fucking... Uh, absolutely nothing to seven days a week. You know, you know, it'll just be like, oh man, we got to get all this shit done. It'll be like, fuck, great. You know, that's what's going to happen. That's what I told the guys. We had a meeting last week, you know, and I kind of told them what was going on. We're probably going to have one next week too. Uh, yeah, Robert, I'll make more repair videos as the, uh, as we have repairs to do. Right now, we have no repairs to do. That's a positive thing. No repairs. Really no, really nothing. Yeah, I use the 238 on everything. No, I'm not union. Yeah, I know. The weather looks like shit, Blake. You're exactly right. It just fucking rains. You know, like every day it's fucking raining. You're like, motherfuck. You know? Um, I haven't bought any new parts for the four-wheeler. I have some stuff on order. Um, I'm probably going to wait till, uh, till we get back to work to buy any more parts for it. Um, and all that stuff. I like the Milwaukee cordless stuff. Uh, I don't know if Brian bought the Super Dump or not. 
Yeah, park the toys and all that stuff. Wow, your YouTube channel makes you eight grand a month. Holy shit, Brian. God damn, mine makes 600. You know, eight grand a month. What the hell are you doing? Well, you don't cuss. See, I cuss. So my shit's all fucked up and I don't get promoted. You know? But fuck, eight grand? Anchor pin. You mean like king pins? The best one to probably buy is the Tiger Tool stuff from Tiger Tools. What's up, bearded yagging? Yeah, the brake shoes, just buy one from Tiger Tools. They have the best one. You know, that's the one that I have. Well, the hoist doesn't really make the bed move side by side. Um, that's the bed pins in the back are all fucking wallered out. And also, if you don't keep the bed clean, the, the weight gets over there and it's fucking all fucked up. You know? Yeah, I'm like 650 bucks every month. That's what I average. Well, there you go, Shannon. Thank you for that. Yeah, the bed pens have more to do with the bed sliding back around than the hoist does. <sighs> Anchor pens for doing breaks. Anchor pen. I'm confused on what you're talking about. Are you talking about the are you talking about the fucking little things that go in the slack adjusters? Where they have a, like a fucking cotter pin on one side and then they're rounded? Um, it was from a guy, but I think he, he had a business, yes. Oh, you're talking about the pins that go on the... Br yeah, okay, then the snap-on one's the one you want to get. Where you put it on there and you fucking press those stupid pins out. I call those the rollers. You know? Yeah, the snap-on, whatever that tap one ever is... But Tiger Tool makes an anchor pen tool, too. Their stuff is pretty good. The snap-on one is really beefy. That's the one that I got. Um, I like the Eaton's. Yeah, I just call them those little fucking things you press in there. I don't know. I mean. Okay, yeah. See, somebody had to explain it. I mean, I don't know the technical terms 
I just know what it is. When they get frozen in there, you know, I have the Snap-on one. It works. You know, it can take a hell of a lot of pressure, I can tell you that. Yeah, the Capri stuff is pretty good. I don't know how much the Snap-on one is. Yeah, the rollers is what I would call them. I wouldn't have called them anchor pins. You know. I have no clue what it costs, dude. I'm sure it's four or five hundred bucks. That's a tool that you buy once and you probably use it twice a year and you feel good about yourself. But, you know, it's a lifelong thing you gotta have. Theirs is really beefy, the snap on one. I don't have any Williams ratchets. I couldn't tell you about them. <clears throat> the best stuff, what I use when I put those rollers back in. Yeah, if you're going to get one, you want to make sure it's beefy. I use that like uh, purple silicone grease stuff and I put it on there. I haven't had a problem. All that stuff. Brad, does my business take a hit when oil prices are down? No, they do not. Uh, you know, ours takes, um, ours takes uh, a hit over rain and lack of, what do you call it? Well, the fear that's going on, you know? Yeah, that purple stuff. That's what I use. Yeah, Brad, come on up here. Put an application in, you know. I, I, I have a whole bunch of automatic trucks. I have two Allisons, and then I think one, two... Three, six, eight. Um, I got five automatics and soon to have eight automatics. Um, my disc brakes on the ones that come from the factory, about 60,000 miles, depending on the driver, uh, is about all you can get out of them. Now, when I put the heavy duty pads on there, those go a lot, those go a lot longer. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I have disc all the way around, except on the lift axles. Those are still, uh, sh you know, regular shoe brakes, drums. What year is my R? I really don't know. Um, it's not, I don't know what year the chassis is. I'm thinking it's a 99. I think it's the first generation roll design chassis. Uh, but I think the motor's either an 88 or 89. Um, I like the disc brakes over the, uh, I like the disc brakes over the drums. They're easier to deal with. Um, you know, the, the disc can be kind of a pain in the ass, you know, uh, to get them apart. But other than that, I like the, uh, I like the whatever. Um, what I pay for pads, I think it's. The high rated ones are like 200 and some odd bucks. All right, see you later, Brian Essex. The, I think they're like 200 and some odd dollars. I'd have to check. I know that they were like almost 100 more bucks than the stock pads. You know? 
No, I'm not much into three wheelers. I like the I like the uh, four wheelers better. What do you mean per wheel? They come in a set of two to do an axle, so it's basically a hundred bucks for a set of pads. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hoping to turn my 250R into something kind of cool. Um, I shot a video on it yesterday, and uh, I got some cool plans for it. Uh, the, loader, the rotors last three pad changes per rotor. Yeah, automatics are a necessary evil in the trucking business. Pretty soon, you're probably not going to be able to buy a standard stick truck. Probably in about 10 to 15 more years, everything will be automatic, and that's what is going to happen. Um, do I think Formula One will race again this year? Probably not. It might be, uh, it may be later in the year, but they won't get 22 races in. Yeah, we have became weak as a nation. That is true. <laughs> Truest statement in here. Why are manuals going away? Uh, because... Uh, go up to Larry Henderson's con comment. They just don't teach people how to drive them anymore. And also, you have to remember, uh, a lot of people, all everybody drives an automatic car. So nobody t was taught at 14 or 15 or 16 on how to drive a five-speed manual car. So a lot of people have no idea of the shifting pattern, you know, it's ridiculous. The more that the millennials are out there, okay, and we become into new generation, not a lot of people know how to drive uh, manual, manual type vehicles. They just wouldn't understand. Listen, they couldn't play on their phone. Uh, you know, what are they going to do? You know? They actually have to shift gears, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't call it dumbing down of America, you know? Ah. Uh, there you go, Brad. If you drove a manual, dude, you are a super trucker. You got to have your cowboy boots. You got to have your buckle, okay? You need to have your keys hanging from your belt loop, okay? And then every time you walk, you hear, shush, 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 shush. you know, that's how you know you are a super trucker, bud. Oh, I forgot. Don't. I, I forgot about if you, Brad, also if you want to be a super trucker, you have to bitch about every, about every fucking, every goddamn thing that goes on, okay? Like, that this gas pump is pumping too slow, this is bullshit, okay? It's hot out here, I showed up at the delivery site and they're not ready to fucking unload me, um... Then you have to start complaining about how the truck has a fucking vibration and the fucking radio doesn't work properly. Um, you heard a phantom noise, okay? Bitch about every fucking absolutely everything. And then you'll be ready for super truck in 101. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, bitch, about half the bitch. <laughs> yep, there you go. You got to get on the radio. And you have to have your CB echo turned all the way up so it sounds, you know, and 
You got it. There's some other shit you got to do. <coughs> no, my drivers don't have heated and cooled seats. Hardwired Jake. Love it. <laughs> that is true. Talk about how you've let, you know, you've delivered, you've backed up more miles than this guy's drove forward. You know, fucking, I'm just telling you, that's, that's what you got to say. You know? I don't know when the service truck is coming, bud. Couldn't tell you. It's lost in the coronavirus, man. I would love to know how to drive a two-stick truck. Um, I have never driven a two-stick truck. I would like to learn how to drive a two-stick truck, you know. Uh, i I just never been in one. Reverse Jake, upshift Jake, yeah. <laughs> Start every sentence, that's funny. Yeah, the, the service truck has the coronavirus. You're exactly right. You know. Yeah, I know. Everybody asks about that damn thing. You know? Like, I would lie about buying it. You know? I mean, this is not other channels on YouTube. I don't lie what I'm buying. You know? <clears throat> if, I, if I fucking said I ordered it, I fucking ordered it. You know? No, I'm not putting a plow on it. Nope. I am from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, our our trucks, we we're, we're slowing down. Do I I no, I have not uh you don't, just because you order a truck there, Adam, that doesn't mean you have to start paying on it. You don't have to start paying on it till 30 days after you fucking get the goddamn thing. Till you sign the finance paperwork, you know. Oh, yeah, no, the driver's all a bitch about the GPS. Oh, God damn, they're fucking, they're fucking tracking me. They're not tracking you, dude. They don't give a fuck about what you got going on. Let's see here. Um, I run 16 ply tires. Yeah, they're working a little bit. Not very much, though. School bus mechanics deemed essential. Well, they're not running the school buses. I guess you could service them. I guess you could fix them. Uh, I don't know what caused the fire next door. They haven't said. Yeah, we run GPS in our trucks. That's how we get paid now. We don't have to fill out. Uh, we don't even have to fill up any paperwork anymore. It's all elec It's all electronics, man. Yeah, I still have the big Chevy, yep, sitting right out there. Yes, I run four and a quarter floats on my steer axles, yep. 
That's what we run. There are 20 ply sidewalls uh, for those. That's what I run. I bought some Toyos. Those seem to be all right. I bought some Goodyears and all that shit. Yeah, the, the GPS is how we get paid. Yep. No more fucking paper tickets. It's all done off GPS. The foreman puts what time you left. That's how you get paid. They know when you're there. Because uh, it bring it bings, you know, like ding. Uh, I'm within whatever, 300 feet of the paver or the... I'm in the asphalt plant on time. That's how they're doing it. It's supposed to make it easier. The GPS system has not crashed. You know? Um, I don't run a closed shoulder. I run a hybrid tire, they call it. Um, it's a modified open shoulder, but it has a tie bar on the outside. Uh like built into the tread um, to keep it from tearing the, 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 the treads up. The, the modified seems to work pretty good, to be honest. No, we don't get paid by the ton. Nope. No more of that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy the M12 right angled impact. I have no clue if I'm going to buy that yet or not. Uh, you get 15 minutes before and 15 minutes after. So. That's how it works. Yeah, that's why I run that modified in, you know, modified one we haven't had any problems i like these goodyear 282 cut resistant compound um they seem to work pretty fucking good you know Well, Blake, it'll know that you have to go back to the plant, okay? So it'll bing when you go back to the plant loaded, and then you get 15 minutes after you leave there. That's how it's supposed to work. How much horsepower are you going to have if you're grossing 150? Depending on your horsepower, I would say the 410 is what I would go with, and I'd run 24 tall tires. That would bring it down to like a modified 390, maybe like 395, somewhere in there. But, okay, you got 605. Man, heavy hauls so hard. Are you just running a standard 18 speed, or are you gonna have a, you gonna have a four speed auxiliary in there? Because 200,000 gross, that's going to be, you know, if you have a four-speed auxiliary, I would go to probably a 390. Because you can always put it in low of the auxiliary. And you want to go 410s. Yeah, the 410s. That's all on their fucking shit. And they just... They can, they know when you're at the plant. They know when you're fucking getting unloaded. They know when you're, they know when you're in route. Uh, they know how much is on you. Um, they know everything. The original reason is, is they would not spend the money, but the state mandated that they had to have GPS, so that's why they gave them to us. 
no company was going to spend this amount of money as they had. You know, what the state's trying to do is not have inspectors out on the job site. They can watch the GPS. They know how long it took the asphalt to get there. Yeah, they give them to you. There's some over there for new trucks that I haven't even got. Yeah, they give it to you. Yeah, you ain't paying for that shit. I'm sure the state's got a backdoor deal from somebody, but that's what they ask. So I would like them to, I like it because um, all of the fucking, there's no more tickets, you know? And if the drivers lose the tickets, it's not all fucked up, like where you got to go, go to the asphalt plant, ask for them to print them off, and then you got to save all of them. It's just a fucking pain in the ass. Um, I bought three trucks this year. I haven't bought them, but I ordered three trucks. Easy billing, yes. You know, anything that would save my wife from having to write out all this shit is going to be a lot easier. <sighs> you know, it just makes it easy. It's not that hard. No, my new trucks are not on back order. They have already been made, and a couple of them showed up at arm. Yes, uh, I have access to the GPS. I also get to approve the next day. I approve what my trucks did. So, like, this is how many hours they had. Yep, that sounds about right. Okay, I approve it. Click. I hit yes. Um, I approve the work for the day before. And fucking that's how they bill us. And then I can go on at the end of the week, type it in there, and uh, that's how the drivers get paid off of that time on that stuff. And if there's any questions, that gives me time to answer the question uh, about the drivers and stuff like that. Um, they are different colors. One's black and two are black cherry. Uh, no, the GPS is not always right. So, actually, the GPS saved our ass last year. I got called and got motherfucked that my trucks were not at the plant. And I'm like, dude, I'm looking at the GPS. I said, here's what time they got here. They're there, dude. They're there, okay? And they looked it up, and yes, they were there. The fucking foreman fucked up. So that was not my fault. So the GPS helps. I don't eat Popeye's chicken, so I couldn't tell you. No, they're not, they're not, they don't have limitations. When you haul asphalt, you, your hours of service are waived. You know? You guys got to read the rules. When you haul to government-funded uh, projects, the hours of service do not exist. <sighs> oh, the Mountain Dew's over here. Why do I swear so much? Buy a whole bunch of trucks and you'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The, if you haul to, like, uh, what they consider it is is that you don't have hours of service because nine times out of ten you're held up at the plant for at least 30 minutes. You're held up here for 30 minutes. Um, there is some break time throughout the day. You know, it is. Yeah, we'll probably go to 24 hours at least six days a week once... Um, 
once we get started, though, you know, I would say by mid-April we should be full swing if, uh, you know, if the state doesn't shut down, like do a mandatory shutdown for two weeks. Yeah, the corona crap needs to go. Yeah, Brad, I don't know why I swear so much. It's just part of the shit. Do I go to church? Fuck no. Okay, church, I'm going to tell you guys what church is for, okay? Church is for a whole bunch of weak-minded motherfuckers that need somebody else to tell them their own fucking opinion, okay? That's what church is for. I don't go listen to that bullshit because... You know, I could get up there and spew some shit for 40 minutes about a book that fucking doesn't mean anything to me. You know? Uh, no, they have to have at least two years driving experience before I can hire them. That's just insurance rules. Unless it's my son or, like, a close family member. Uh, I've been watching the Lori Vallow case. I saw that her attorneys keep leaving her and nobody wants to bail her out of jail. Uh, so yeah, but I've never seen watch Tiger King on Netflix. I'll have to watch that. Uh, no, I have not bought a new scan tool. Nope. Yes, I can operate out of state. I have a portion tags. Um, I ran, uh, on my service truck, I put that Miller Trailmaster 302 with that, with that, uh, what, what do you call that? It just had a little 31 CFM air compressor. That's probably all I'll need. I run 10 right now. Yeah, nobody's vouching. Nobody's vouching for that 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 woman yet. I I, I have a feeling her kids are dead. Uh they are not paving in Kentucky yet. They are digging up concrete. Uh, not paving. I'm sure once they get paving, we'll get sent over there. Yeah, that's part of the Miller thing. It's a welder and air compressor all in one and generator. Um, I don't need any flatbed support. They might need to hook up to their belly dumps. I've never asked. Um, Millings is easier, but Blacktop's really easy too. You know? Yeah, I'm on Snapchat. I don't use it very much. Yeah, I think that girl needs to that girl needs to disappear, man. No, I'm not belly up yet. I'm sure that everybody on YouTube is waiting for me to go out of business. I'm sure. I'm sure that there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers that are just chomping at the bit. But you know, I'll be all right. Um, I like Peterbilt's. I would say that's my favorite truck. You know, I like them. <clears throat> uh, because the service truck is not here. Um, I had them wire mine. I had them wire mine, or 
they plumb, they're going to plumb mine into uh, the fuel tank on the truck. It runs off diesel fuel, so I wouldn't have to have a separate fuel tank to fill it up. Uh, they just add a lift pump to the thing, and then that's the way that I ask them to set it up. Yeah, I want to stay in business. It'll be fine. But I'm sure there's a lot of people on YouTube just chomping, you know. Yeah, everybody goes through some tough times, you know. Everything just slows down and, you know, usually, like, it takes... There's not one thing that puts somebody out of business. It's a multitude of problems. Like, okay, you know, like, we're on the trifecta, you know. Once it gets to over three things that go wrong, it's fucking bad. No, I got one big tank one big tank i think it's like 50 gallons they couldn't put the other one on there because it it moves where the fucking what did the guy say it moves where the def tank is okay like when you put dual tanks on it they can't mount the service body so you just have to get one big one i don't know if that company will survive you know I couldn't tell you. I don't know what they're, you know, it's probably not good that people are leaving there and getting jobs somewhere else. That's not good. None of my guys have left. Trump says three weeks. CNN says 18 months. I, I don't know when it's, when it's going to be there. Fuck CNN. There you go. That's probably right, Rudy. There's a reason that somebody left. All right? No. I haven't watched it, so I couldn't tell you why that dude left, but I have some theories. You know. Uh, yeah, we get 15 minutes. Is how they're doing it. That's what they're supposed to do. I told them if they would pay the number that I want, they don't have to fucking give us travel time, but they'll fuck it up. I mean, I think this is a great country, and I don't think that... I don't think that a goddamn stupid virus should ruin this whole country. You know, like, I wish that uh, our president would be a little bit more Justin and use this as a rally to, you know, make us stronger. Say, listen, you know, like, fucking, we got to figure out how to, everybody's got to work together. You know what I'm saying? Did DeWine just issue a, what, did he do that? A stay-at-home order? I wonder what the fuck that means. I'm just saying, like, I would have used it as, like, dude, we're Americans. We're not fucking putting up with this bullshit, you know. Everybody just do everything normal, and we'll figure it out at the end of the situation. I knew we were going to get shut down today. Uh, no, my Duramax is not for sale yet. You know? I know that I'm an essential business from what the state says. 
my wife hasn't called screaming at me that he shut it down. Um, I don't know if I am going to sell the Street Beast. I might keep it. I'm going to see what happens when I get the other truck. Sheltered in place. I don't know what that means. Well, Italy has the oldest, okay, the oldest population in the world, okay? Most of their people are above 50 years old. So that's why it's impacting them more than it really is anywhere else. except for essential businesses. <laughs> Man, what kind of business are you in? Yeah, but again, see, that comes back to my opinion on it. It's in effect till April 6th. I wonder why that date is very important. <sighs> so that means we can't leave our house houses? I don't know. I'm going to have to call my wife. Oh, you're in the repossession business. Oh, that's okay. That's why. Yeah, I think they're just scamming us. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yep, your Kenworth probably won't be built next week. Probably be pushed back. This is going to suck because I have to get, I have to get some money from the bank. Clearwater Beach. I know last week the beaches were like open, you know. Bill Long, you're right. It, it's the flu, people. Calm down. You got till Monday night at midnight? Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm sure that my phones are going to fucking start blowing up. Wow. It's going to hurt a lot of people. It's fucked up. I don't have any hoodies to send. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of people going to the stores today. I'm sure there's going to be a run on everything. I might drive by the store on the way home just to see if there's lines outside. <laughs> I'm not going in. You know? He was supposed to have a press conference at 6 o'clock tonight. You know? So we'll have to see. Blake's in Ohio. He's up in Columbus. Oh, yeah. No, we'll get through this. You know? It'll just be part of you know, you know, I'll be able to look back in 20 years and be like, hey, kids, you don't know this, but you survived the coronavirus panic. 
<laughs> you know? Like, it was fucked up. Uh, you can... I have a Teespring now. So you guys can buy shirts on the Teespring thing. And they will send them to you. I'll see if anybody's ordered them. I don't know if anybody has. But I made a Teespring because people were asking for T-shirts. And I uh, just don't have the time to send them out. We've had one order. We've had 117 views. We've had uh, one shirt sold. So that's fucking awesome. You know. Yeah, no. We'll get through this. We'll see how it goes. Um, I do not take toilet paper as a payment. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I got the premium quality Teespring shirts. Okay? So you can get kid shirts for your kids. But the regular ones are... It was like the best one that they had. It was the softest one. I didn't like uh, the other ones. So these are, you know, regular fit. You know, I think they go up to, they go up to 3X. You can get them in gray and uh, blue. There was supposed to be some other colors, I thought. Yeah, gray and blue. I, I, I tried to do this. Me and my wife did this the other day. I wanted to do this fleece blanket, but I don't know why that's on there. I wouldn't buy that because it's just a blue blanket. Don't do that. Um, I wanted that for um, whatever. But you can get a baby onesie. How awesome is that? And you can get a coffee mug with JST Trucking on it. But that's what I got. I'll add more stuff to the Teespring as it gets going, you know. I don't know if China made up this to screw up the economy. I don't know what they do, you know. I was actually with a state trooper yesterday, and uh, he said he knew nothing about what's going on. No, there's a logo on the front. I don't know if it's on the back, too. I don't know. I didn't build the thing. My wife did. You know, I sat there next to her, and she screamed at me the entire time. So, I, I couldn't tell you. You know? So maybe I'll have to try it. I just did it just to try to see what it's like. And then we'll go from there. No, the, the Punisher's not on the sleeve. It won't let you add more than one thing on it. It's kind of it's kind of janky. You know, that's cool that you're outside my shop. That's awesome. No. Almost like... Oh, I'm sure there's nobody in my parking lot. You know? Yeah, come December... There's going to be, they're going to be calling it the, uh, the Corona babies. 
because there's going to be a lot of them. I guarantee it. And they put these people on lockdown, dude. They are wiping their ass, right? They're going to have the cleanest ass that they've ever had. They're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be all drunk up at their house. And uh, just, you know, just fucking. Just out there. People are going to be fucking like rabbits. Um... I could apply for some of the deferrals. I just haven't yet. Yeah, and then come December, they're going to be wiping those babies' asses. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be pretty crazy. I want to see how many babies, what they say. You know, probably what's going to happen is all the people that died in the coronavirus are going to get replaced in nine months by the babies being born. So we probably shouldn't worry about all that stuff. You know? Yeah, I wonder what else they got. Timothy, where are you guys at? You know? I'm a strong dude. I don't get sick easy, you know, and I don't let things that happen to me. I, I don't, I don't get caught up in all the hype. Truckers should get hazard pay. That's funny. Yeah, it's time to renegotiate our rates. I wonder what place said that they're not going to mill till all or till May. I haven't heard that yet. Hey, David. Uh-oh, we just got uh, the governor signed a statewide stay-at-home order. We got to figure out what this is about. So, it happened. I know one thing, I got to make a phone call. Uh, that was in Ohio. Governor DeWine did that. No, it's no joke. I knew we were going to get uh, put in our houses this week. No, I'm going to go home. I guess it doesn't start till Monday. I guarantee they're going to let the people that had work scheduled... Tomorrow, go, and then after that, nothing. This is going to be real shitty. What's up, CP? Yeah, well, CP, this is absolutely terrible for small businesses. We'll just have to... Go on, you know, for the next, the next two weeks and figure out what happens, you know? No, 
No. Yeah, there's nobody in West Virginia. That's true. Probably because they, uh, the sewer project probably won't start yet because people got to, they got to get that open with all these people pooing at their house. You know, like, I just don't know what you're going to do with this much toilet paper. I guess you could toilet paper your neighbor's house, you know? How are these high school kids, what are they going to do, you know? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? How are they going to go get toilet paper to toil to TP your buddy's house, man? You know? It's going to be fucked up. It is bullshit. It's double value. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, I haven't heard the plan. They said they were going to start April 6th. So, you know, after that, we'll see what happens. And... I don't know how long Governor DeWine put that on. Let's see. Let me ask if I'll get an email from unemployment usually. I've been getting these Ohio emails to my business account, and it kind of tells me what's going on, but uh, I haven't got it yet. So maybe they haven't got the full press release back. Yeah, that's two weeks. So we'll see what happens. Well, how long is, uh, how long's New York locked down for? That's non essential businesses he locked down. I'm assuming, Blake, correct? That's what I'm assuming. I don't know. What is it there? Okay, he's talking about what essential businesses are. That's what I figured. You guys are on lockdown in PA as well? Yeah, this is probably not good. Liquor and pot stores are ex are essential. I can tell you, me and my wife were out in Vegas and just like walking down the street, everything smelled like weed. Yeah, um, well, I haven't got a call that says we can haul shit in my dump trucks yet, but if somebody could figure out how to load freight in there, I would fucking figure out how to do it. You know, the trucks with the high lift gate, we can easily load shit in that. You know, I could probably get like maybe nine pallets of fucking toilet paper on there and be good to go. Yeah, we could load that with a forklift.
Liquor stores, banks in New York, lockdown starts 8 p.m. Okay. Yeah, the barn doors would be awesome too. Yeah, they aren't any different than a box truck. You're exactly right. You know, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Well, if you got 20,000 rounds for the AR, you should be good. Yeah, that's, I'll wait for people to call me. Well, we're a Republican state. DeWine is a Republican, and he just put us on lockdown, so I don't think it's all the Democratic states. They may have done it first, but we're the only ones. You know, but, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here so I can make it home, uh, I'm going to go home and uh, see what we're going to do about dinner and then figure out. There you go, Blake, $250 an hour, bud. I'll have them lined up Monday morning. Let me know. But like always, guys, uh, you know, I'm going to get off here. I'll fucking pop in as the, as the fucking epidemic coronavirus gets fucking completely crazy for the year we'll see what happens but alrighty like always guys thanks for watching and uh I gotta fucking go thank you CP tool addict that little bit helps thank you bud thank you sir you're a great man you know you should drive to West Virginia and kill that son of a bitch but it's another here or there, but all right, I'll see you guys later.